All right. Let's work on our posture. Hi, you buddy. Wasn't calling you. Sorry. Sorry, Ronies. I know that sounded like the Rooney sound, but that's not what it was. That's not what it was. Sorry, dude. All right, let me see. Something was just pushed to get up. Uh, uh, what am I pulling? Let me take a look. In Slack. Fixes and improvements to quantity slider controller. Okay. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Alright. So, talking about the cool. Oh, man. Yawn, yawn, yawn. That's not a good way to start the stream. Hey, Nick. Hey, now. Hey, Pattis. What is it that I wanted to look at? Howdy, John. Uh, oh, I know what I wanted to do. I need to stop yawning. Ooh, right. I meant to. I meant to have a little cup of coffee at like five or six. Now it's too late, I believe. Got busy with dinner and totally forgot to make myself some. Vax, um, yeah, it's weird because there's also like the offset, the weird timing delay is meant to be. Um, cool, that worked. Funny, I totally forgot about the new critters until right as I logged in. I was like, oh yeah, that's right, new critters. New icons, cool. I'm still rocking my uh, very bright light source. Hey, Shifty Gnome. All right. Got my scrap pack. There's some other crap that I don't need. I should just sell it to him. Big one gloves. 
Bone chips, bat wings, bat fur. What is this? Rusty greatsword. Why not? Uh -huh. What is on today's agenda? That is a great question. Days like today when I've got stuff going on all the way up until stream, sometimes I don't have the best agenda. I apologize. Um, may play a little bit. Oh, I know what I should do. Uh, summon item. I remember I can look in a database in a second here let me do this database view uh confirm the item name before I try to create it um that's what I thought come on man Is it, is it create item? Do I keep saying summon item because, no, is it? Um, you can search item. It says it search crap or is it? Hey, well below average. Space ducks. Ooh. That's a good question. I forgot we added flagging. That's handy. Not very secure, but it's definitely handy. Can you legally call that shifty gnome who he really is? No. <laughs> if, if you think he is who I think you think he is. Yet. Ah, uh, that makes sense. Damn. That's that's a nice experience. Um but I received the wrong item. <clears throat> All right. Let me double check something in the DB. Uh -huh. Oh, interesting. Oh, yeah, my machine crashed the other day while I was working on this. But I, hmm, maybe it was while I was still in this state. No big deal. Let's see if we can fix it. Uh, loot. Do I need to, do I have another window open? I don't. Um, close this out for now. No, I'll get the other window open in a minute. Let me look at the loot group. Shifty rewards, that's right. So, NPC quest. Two fifty to five hundred XP may be more level appropriate. Cool. 
I'm fine with that. Um, it's not an effort, but let's go with 500 then. Loot. Shifty underscore rewards. It's kind of a pain in the ass quest for a decent investment. Um, hey Zukin. Um, let's see. One million XP. We'll hide that. We'll hide that for us to use. Um, I was just catching up with Zook in your latest post in in uh, Black. Thoughts on jumping puzzles and racing quests, e.g., get from point to point while drunk or point A to point B while drunk. I don't. I don't have a lot of thoughts on them at the moment. Golden Gloves, I would say that I'm not philosophically opposed to such a concept. Or I guess that's two concepts, right? Uh. I swear, as a leaf was... I thought I got myself into a weird state. Let me look real quick and see if I can log in with that character. Actually, now's a bad time to test that, since I just got bounced. Disconnected from server, heading back to character select. Back. Let's try this one more time. Gone Glove said, One of my favorite pastimes was getting drunk with friends in River Vale and racing to Freeport Docks. We, uh, would be fun to have some in game challenges like that with leaderboards. I don't know about leaderboards. Now, we're, now, now you're turning it into a whole thing. Have you watched the, the gnome races on P99? I still haven't participated in one. Damn it. I need to... I need to catch up with Larry. It's been forever. When's the next gnome race on P99? I can't log in at the moment. Is this a known issue? My stuff's all jacked up. Do they still go from Akanon to Unrest? The last one I saw was like Akanon to... Plane of Fear Portal?
I may be wrong on that, but I, I'm pretty certain that's what I watched. Alright. Character creation might be broken. Who did it? Oh no. Who did it? Who broke the game? Okay, nobody did. Nobody did. I wasn't about to blame any programmers. Honest. Come to find out it's like some data shit. Yeah, that's probably a bad idea. Now, the more I think about it. But it seemed kind of shifty. So, you basically take this. Um, summon. Item. Cloth. Crap. Okay. By the way, thank you so much for getting the arrow up um, in. That's so handy. Should probably make this item lore. Do you have any like mock-up or sketches or anything of what you think the UI may might look like? No, we have a lot of reference of what we think cool UIs look like, but there's been no final decision on, hey, this is the one we're going to be shooting for. Just lots of good ref. Remember my two brothers and I entering Naked Gnome Race back in 2000? He has all three computers playing at this, on the same 56k modem. Took us like five to ten minutes to zone. Even with just my one computer in a 56k modem, it took quite a while. It was like it was the perfect time to get up and run and like go grab a drink or pee. Alright. So Wanna do of it? Yeah, let's do it. Um I may switch, maybe I'll switch classes though. Oop, I got a satchel. Yay. Uh, what class are you going to play, Nick? I, I hopped on the P99 over the weekend for a little bit on my Necromancer. And I wish I had more time to play because I wound up um, duoing with a Shaman. Um, right outside of Splitpaw. And, man, it was so nice. Like at some point I was like, can you hit me with regen, please? And once once I thought to ask for regen, like, once she hit me with re she was like, my regen's not very good. And yet, yeah, I mean, it was crazy. Like, once, once she hit me with regen, I pretty much, I just stayed capped. It was fun. Tossing her mana... Like, we, we were steady plowing through stuff, and it was it was kind of cool. There were a number of, like, solo and duo um, folks around around uh, Split Paul, so. It wound up being really nice. I had a really, really fun session. Original EQ UI with the graphical interface was the best. The little window. Yeah, the, the super boxed in one. Dude, I'm so, I, I'm so bad, even at, what am I, level 20, 28, almost 29, I guess? Screwing around with the treants in the corner, is just like, pfft. Once the camp opened up, I was like, alright, they're blue to me, let me go back over, and it just, man. One little mistake and I'm dead again, so yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather pick it, like, random maybe axe, or... Um, the session prior to that, I had a little, I think it was a little trio, right, right at KFC. 
and then Paul's. Paul was actually a lot of fun. Um. All right, so if you're playing a druid, what do I want to play? While I think about it. A power buff and definitely a cash nerf. Yeah, well that's funny because there was a day when I actually had a rhythm going and I was I was killing them well enough and I was like, I don't know what all the hype's about. I got no gems. The cash was like whatever. Um Rare item coupon. Alright, destroy item. Is it a brand new druid level one, Nick? That wasn't it. Oh, scrap bundle. Oh, brr, 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 brr. all right. So let me let me make something I haven't played yet. I'll make a rogue if I can make any anything. What I get? A well polished warhammer. So Nick, these okay. Then I'll I'll just play this guy. These items are pretty broken that I put in. Um, the armor is probably not so bad, but the uh, the weapons maybe a little little much. Um, but. It's not like we're live at the moment anyway, so I don't care. I just wanted to I just wanted to test out the uh the functionality. And I have That shit's all way too common. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Alright, so let's... If I can't make another tune, let me see what I have that's uh, level 1. Usually gold and fine steel staff drops, so you pretty much had to have someone hold all the weight and uh, go cash in every often while you had the camp down. Yeah, I, I've... I've, uh... I've filled up and then I just gate back. I'm bound, like, right in front of the, the centaur merchant to sort of cash out. Hutchie asked, are you pleased with the progress? Had a look on the website a week or so ago. Some of the sketch uh, character art looks great. Uh, very happy with the progress. Yeah, the team's doing a fantastic job. Um, progress is beating up. We've added some folks to the team. And so um, overall, super, super awesome. So I, I take it you saw update number 15, the one that's got... That was mainly art focused. Can't let me see if I can create a character. I cannot. All right, so that's that. Cool. I'm glad you saw it. Did you did you get it via the newsletter or how did you see it? Z 
Zukin, no questions for you yet. Uh, Zukin, speaking of character, Zukin worked on some revisions of the... I can use this fighter, I think. Of the character art. Would you like to see? Do you like what you'll see? Hey, banana. Let me see what's up with this. Uh, okay, this seems like a relatively brand new character, Nick. Almost level two. Got the newsletter, spent some time going through all you can find on the site. Previously, I've mainly been watching from YouTube. Oh, right on. Yeah, I need to get more, um, I need to get more little video clips up on the, on the YouTube channel as well. Currently the little 17 second, 18 second Monsters and Memories video clip is like second most viewed clip on the YouTube channel for the last 48 hours. So. Here is the guy that we've been working with. Well, it's interesting that it saves your windows in the file, I guess, the preferences, because I, I never look at this stuff. I don't know why they're up. So Zukin, I've got a I've got a high res version of this texture now as well. Even though it doesn't it doesn't look that bad here, but I, I believe it's a higher res one that we've just picked up. So this did you see my question to um, Harrison? Um, if I look here, if I if I look at this view. The lower legs look a bit shorter, but I'm wondering how much of that is because of the, the texture. If that's the back of the knee, then I'm assuming the front of the knee would actually be higher. So I think it's just the way the current texture is. Because if I look back here, his legs, I mean, I, I guess they could be a little bit longer, but it doesn't feel anywhere, it doesn't feel the same as um, looking from the front view. Okay, cool. Well, I, I trust you all to figure it out. Um, I've still got a... Well, the UVs on the hands are kind of interesting. Um, I've still got to write up the email with... Um, basically, once you get done tweaking things, Zukin, if you wouldn't mind um, baking out some new images and maybe a new file, what I can do is... Um, I can put all that together and send it over to the art house and see basically what they think. Because if, for those of you that weren't here, um, those of you that weren't here last week, we've also got, and I'll do a, a quick, I'll make it so that you can see them real quick. Uh, we've got the rope model to look at. I can remember where we... Uh... Interesting. Oh, I just threw the material on there like a dummy. Um... Why am I just looking at materials? Um,
Let me look at where I actually had this. Models. NPC models. No, no double click. Hey, Hachi. Thank you so much for the prime sub. So essentially this guy is this guy with a robe on. So we'll have to get back with the art house folks because if they've sort of built this all of this off of this then my assumption is that this is no longer valid so we'll have to figure out um gather their thoughts on the change maybe get some additional feedback from them as well and then talk a little bit about the implications there Because I'm assuming some adjustment work needs to happen. You get strong Vanguard vibes from the looks of that zone? Really? I'll take it as a compliment. We'll, we'll be going for, I think, a more, a little bit more blocky and old school look. Even for Vanguard at the time, but we're we're leaning leaning heavily into the uh, the the 1999 era. Nicodemus, thank you for month three. Yeah, so if you look at this, the way it's set up. Hachi, don't worry, I took it as such. Um, oh, I forgot we're doing it in here. That's right. Like, that doesn't look the same as what was going on before. So... We were playing around looking at uh, customization last week. Here he just kind of looks like a merchant, especially if we get this, the arms off. Yeah, maybe the belt's a bit much. Something about the vest. Yeah, so... That's what we were looking at last week. And then Zukin has been refining the model this week. Oops. Wrong editor. So, it's super rad progress. Log back in to the human fighter and then we can play with Nick for a bit. Uh, let me check my inventory again. All right. Learn kick, learn provoke. Memorize kick.
interrupted that so it can sit somewhere nice. Well, it's okay. I was about to say it's obfuscated by this big old screen. Big old UI element. <laughs> Provoke. So kick kicks your target for 2 at level 1, 40 at level 60, melee damage. Must be facing your target within 5 meters. Provoke provokes your target to increase hate against you by 10 threats. Must be facing your target within 5 meters. What weapon am I using? Trainee sword. Cool. Let me... Eh. I'll destroy this though. All right, I've been invited, I accept. Nicodemus, yeah, it's it's a nice moment. That's why I like to... Oh, let me... Uh... Get in the right channel. Let me hit auto attack. That's also helpful for a fighter. This guy's already dead. Definitely loved his own. Thank you, Bootly. What have you been up to? Let me switch this. There you go. You can see a little bit more. Work, work, and work. Work, work. I see a little, little hitching with the, with the movement there. Are you noticing that as well, Nick? Yeah, I was about to say that. If you guys haven't noticed it, um, we've got rats, bats, and snakes. Um, I need to pop in and make a rare bat. I've, I've had a rare bat on my mind for months, and now that we have the rare bat model, I might as well get them in here. But we are, we've got a couple versions. All of the critters are compliments of Zukin here in chat. Oh, I'm noticing the, the uh, targeting thing that I could have sworn I saw a bug for. Tab. Like, why am I targeting a snake? Yeah, that hitching's really noticeable today. I haven't noticed it before. What's up, Brex? Yeah, so did you play... Um, did you play EQ1? Hachi? Eleven one dubious poke smoke. 
What's up, Hashpipe? 17 months, buddy. That's incredible. How have you been? Doing super good, man. Pretty okay. Been hyper focused on music again. Must be the time of the year. Well, yeah, I mean, are you, is the weather kind of keeping you indoors? Or is it because you're getting festive? sunlight maybe once a month <laughs> fair enough yeah living in Sweden it was kind of like that Sweden it'd be dark when I walked into work and it'd be dark when I left there might be like an hour of something resembling light during lunch Belfaster, my mom used to watch soap operas. And now that I look back on them, they're really ingenious. Just seasonal depression kicking in, I guess. When I'm sad, I write music, so the cycle continues. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, Pattis just checked in the, the cliffs earlier. Grandmother did as well as a result, uh, so that I called them her stories. Yep, the stories. My stories are on. This guy's handsome. Golden Girls, also a good one. It's been a long time since I messed with some Golden Girls. <clears throat> They were funny though, and enlightening. Whoa, that was a strong hitch. What's going on, server? I was just bragging about you yesterday. Now, I'm doing some weird things. What language is Monsters and Memories written in? Snivels? Um, C sharp? Programmers, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're using Unity and it's been my understanding that everything's in C sharp. Go faster. If I knew that at one point, I have promptly forgotten it. That is a nice bit of trivia. Snivels, how did you find us? It says... You are... This is your first time chatting with us. Thank you. Thank you, Twitch, for... Providing that info. It's actually really good info. I, I love seeing people say something for the first time. And thank you for the follow. Software dev and you're browsing the category. All oh, right on. What kind of software do you work on? It 
Betty White's a badass. Yeah. AC2 was your first MMO. The whole new time sink. <laughs> Plenty. Yeah. It's hard for me to consider where I where I would have ended up had something other than EverQuest been my first MMO. Banking software. Um, the CTO at the last company that I worked at, he came to us um, from banking as well. And he was just talking about like how much you just everything's got to be like it, it moves slow because everything's got to be perfect, at least where he was, and so it just is a very different scene from uh from games. But he had he had EA experience earlier in his career, so he, he knew what he was getting into. Mandalorian, thank you for month seven. Good to see you. Uh, I'm spending more time on Project Gorgon than anything else at the moment. It's funny, I have... I'm not even gonna... I'm not... I'm not bullshitting you. Look, I have Project Gorgon up in another tab, going all the way back to when they launched. Because I was trying to figure out, and it was weird, I couldn't just find an easy exact answer on like Wikipedia or something. I was trying to figure out when they launched. And it looks like they went into early access in 2016. Uh, I want to follow up with Sandra. Um... Because, let me, I'll get rid of these. Um, because I'd like to have her on for an interview. If you guys haven't seen it. Um, I have a collection of VODs. It's actually two collections now because we filled up the first collection here on Twitch. Um, I have a collection of VODs that are old videos. Um, old videos. Videos with... Um, former EverQuest developers, mostly. Um, we had Jen on, so current team member, and Tom Toby, current team member, so. Um. So not all former, but yeah, we've got like 60 hours worth of conversations with 20, 20 plus videos of different people that have worked on EQ or EverQuest Online Adventures or Vanguard, so if you like Vanguard... Um, you can check that out as well. Um, we've got, what, two, three people that worked on Vanguard at least. Um, and if you don't want to watch them there, you can watch them on YouTube as well. Just go to a loving robot. Uh, Unity is a great engine. I'm working my way back up, so if I missed your comments, don't worry. Uh, Unity is a great engine. They just recently acquired Weta. Yeah, I saw that. I forget, it was a couple billion, right? Um, company behind the graphics for Lord of the Rings, yep. Um, they've also been doing a lot of interesting stuff there. I was considering trying to apply to go there back when I thought living in New Zealand would be cool, and when they were working on like some AR stuff for uh, Magic Leap. Nick, I wandered off, I'm at the gate. Um, I'm gonna go to the gnome and sell some stuff. Um, Breck said, Sean definitely needs more attention. Been watching this and telling people to check it out for a while. Thank you, buddy. A lot of people getting excited for a new MMO like EQ. At least what I hear around the EQ community. Yeah, people are des desperately wanting something to scratch an itch. Love how they have dying as a skill. Yeah, it blew my mind the first time I saw that. They've got so many fun ideas in there. So yeah, I would love to, I would love to get, um... Sandra and, and maybe her husband, or does she say partner? I don't know. People are particular about that sometimes. Um, anyways, I'd like to I'd like to get her or the two of them on the stream. Um, that's why I have the the tab open right now. I need to follow up with them. Uh, let me say. Oops. It's not say, really? Why don't I know anything about our game? Ooh, it's not meant to be a command. Okay. Thank you. Uh, 
Uh, Fargo. We understand. I really enjoyed their, I enjoyed their newbie island. It's one of the few newbie island type of experiences where I didn't want to leave. There's so much interesting stuff going on there. Here's our dude. I heard Nick casting and I was looking around to see if I could spot him. I, I don't... I don't see him. There he is. Oh, it has been a while. It's been long enough that I feel uncomfortable saying your name again. Tinlael. Tinlael. Was that right? <laughs> Yeah, not really, huh? Yeah? You just saying that to make me feel better? You don't have to lie just because I'm the one, uh... I'm the one streaming. Your comforting lies will... will serve no purpose here. What's up, Shreddy? So I'm... I was mentioning to... Uh, to Hamad, um... That he should do a stream soon. And I would host them to make it easier. I'd host them. I'd just put them up there. Um, and, um, but I think he'd be a really good streamer. Like he's got a great just sort of presence for, for that sort of thing. So, um, and then Ham could come in and talk a little bit about his approach to world building and writing lore and, um, as well as, uh, illustration. Because he's an illustrator. So, want to do that soon. If he's available. Maybe next week. What do you guys think? Just working and listening to the stream in the background. I've uh, I've done that recently while Zukin was streaming some, some private streams for us. It's private. Very relaxing. Now I see why you guys do it. Cathadian would like to see that. Yeah, a few people have been asking about lore and stuff. We're not going to spill any beans on the lore. But uh, we will talk to you about the process. The process. Zukin, Zukin's 3D modeling. Hey, Enigma. This, uh, this hand-drawn sand is... I'll, like one of our first creations last year. Ollie made this last year and it's been perfect ever since. Apparently it does some weird things with uh with memory in terms of rendering, so we'll have to revise it, Ollie said, but it it nails the feel. As an ex programmer, I enjoy watching Jonathan Blow's streams. Oh I bet. That guy's been at it for a while, huh? He's been doing I mean, he's been streaming for a while, I'd assume. 
But I know he's been putting out videos and stuff for even longer. He's got a new language. Why is his language better? Oh. It uses more accents. <laughs> it has a broader range of curse words. He's only yellow. Well, gets rid of the bloat from C and compiler. It looks like a delight to use. Oh, cool. And don't worry, I'll keep him off you for now. You guys have any big end of year milestones you're going for? No, Ollie said he's like six months ahead of schedule anyway. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he's ridiculous. Oh man, and then with us adding with us adding both Gary and John, um, and those guys ramping up so quickly, we're we're making great, great time. Great pacing. Oh. This son of a gun's not playing around. Ah, uh, we got this, dude. What the hell? He's running. Oh no, he was just pathing really insanely towards me. Cathedian? I don't- I don't think that's true. Um... So, Belfaster... Yeah, the- basically... Ollie and crew are trying to wrap up all of the base functionality that gets us to kind of the end of phase one. If you've looked at the- the roadmap goals. Uh, we've got to update that. Let me make another note about the roadmap as well. I need to bug some people about helping me update. Anyways, getting all the all the sort of core functionality wrapped up so that we can switch to focusing on the character. Um, so animations and getting the characters in and character working and stuff like that. So the guy that I just showed you a little bit ago. And or this fella. Um... So, yeah, it'll be nice because essentially the the rest of your art pipeline's finally coming online through the end of the year, uh, along with all of the base functionality that we have. And then, if I'm not, not mistaken, going into uh, the beginning of next year, we're going to be looking at a lot of M and M specific functionality and design tweaks and. Uh, really starting to make the game feel a lot more like our game um, and not just n not just the uh, the old MMO you've known and loved so we'll be using that as a base and we can always fall back if any of our crazy ideas don't work we'll we'll go back to kind of standard standard 1999 era concepts but I think I think we'll be fine excuse me and then while that's all going on, on the design side, we'll be working with um, Harrison, aka Pattis, um, on a redesign of Night Harbor with a focus on new structures. Um, so all of this placeholder art that I made last year, or yeah, last year, this year, um, will start being swapped out for more final looking assets um, with a new layout and a much, much bigger city in terms of the scope of what's in it but better proportions so that things feel cozier and more realistic and not so crazy big and open and stuff in different areas so and while that's going on we'll be doing you know additional character work to go along with the the fact that we're getting the char character pipeline hammered out and characters integrated and customization and 
uh, all of that stuff going. So yeah, lots going on while we're continuing to um, hammer through the lore um, slash world building that's needed. So yep, a bunch going on. Bunch going on. Chip rocking. What's he got on him? Rusty Warhammer? All right. Lintlock said the person that's going to make it more cozy. What job title would that be? Graphic designer? Uh, it's going to be on all of us. Um, environment artist. Along with designers. What's going on here? Okay. Yeah, something's up with targeting. Targeting everything but that dude. Um, I can show you a little bit about what the cozy thing is about in a second. Um, we'll have to take a little break from... Well, Nick, I mean can continue to kill on his own, but well, I'll take a little break for a second. I'll show you some of what I mean here while Nick continues to get experience for us. We'll come over here and look at this wonderful water. I know the plan was to make a vertical slice, but at this pace, you guys are going to look up one day and we'll have actually made a whole damn game. <laughs> so the, the goal, yeah, I mean, the goal really is to get enough of a, um, a, a vertical slice where we've proven out everything and really we can, we can, uh, work with you in the community in a very sincere and honest way and saying, Hey, we have a game. You can play the game. We test the game. I mean, we test and test and test the game. And by we, I mainly mean Nick is in there constantly. We've got a bug database that looks like any team I've been on. It's just constantly. 100, 200 bugs in there, getting regressed, pounding through stuff. So that's really badass as well. But anyway, we'll have stuff functioning. We'll have one of everything. We'll test it out, all the concepts. We'll have some content, but then we'll be able to look at it and go, there's not enough game here. The goal is then for us to basically scale the game. And we'll, we'll talk with you in the community about what our options are for that and figure out the best way to proceed. But the goal is to basically show a game and not a concept, right? Show a game and not concept art and, and a bunch of ideas. And, uh, and then use that to have the discussion about, you know, where do we go from there in terms of, um, release and or funding or, you know, all that fun stuff. So here, let me, let me show you a little bit about what I mean in terms of cozy. So it may not look it right now, but if we take the character that we had previously. What is everyone's prime choice on class in an MMO? Past, present, or known for the future? Good question. What are you guys going to be playing? So here I'll show you three different images with slightly different scales. Right, so if you look at the model as it was brought in, like if I run up to it right now and we look at it, that's what it is relative to a lot of stuff in here. This is at 1.4, this is at 1.6, right? And so it's that idea of like, just looking at basic proportions. If we look here, at like this. So this is 1.0, 1 1.4, 1 
1.6. I feel like an optometrist. This or this? This or this? So yeah, 1.4, if we look at these two, if we look at like the doorway, right? One of the things that we're going to be doing is each area, if it's a set of structures made for human or made by humans for humans, it's going to have human proportions. If it's uh, made by gnomes for gnomes, it's going to have gnomish proportions. So, you know, maybe a little cramped for you if you're a human or let alone ogre. Huh. So... Hey, Isan, are you really five foot six? Not that there's anything wrong with it, but. I'm going to miss some of the class discussion. Sorry, y'all. There's a lot of that going through. Sounds like we got a couple of shamans. Will there be doors I can't go in because you're too big? Yes, there will be. I played a dirge in EQ2 as well. I had a, like an emo little, uh, what were the, the dark fae? Oh, there goes the boat. We missed it. Oh man, this guy's tough. Yeah, it's something like that. Cathedia, I think it's a uh, Arasai, Arashi, or something. John played a warrior in original EQ, Necro and TLP, and probably a healer in the future. So I played a cleric for the first time legitimately on TLP. And I really like the guy. Um, I haven't been on Eridun in forever. I don't know if there's anybody to even play with, which would be a shame. But I really like my little cleric. I put a lot of I put a lot of work into him at the time. We have to log in soon and see what's going on with him. Um, maybe Nick and I can just duo on a stream or two again. It's been a while. Um, but I played a warrior originally as well. Up through pop. I really enjoyed being a healer. If 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 they were to come up with a new P99. Um oh, this is an underwater skeleton. If uh if if they come out with another P99, I'd probably hop on a cleric, to be honest. Just because I know that um, my investment in them would be worthwhile for years to come. Mandalorian, you haven't seen our our picodiles. Let me know if the music's too loud. I tweaked it a little bit. Did a healer in WoW and fell in love with it. The ability to save group in a clutch situation. So to, I know it, it feels so good. It almost makes all of the pressure of accidentally letting your group die worth it. Are you going to, are you going to summon the named? I only, I think I've only had one, maybe two groups kind of be a bit salty while I was healing. And that was just somebody who is like complaining about my use of CH or something. And that's why I don't like grouping in the hole. Oh my god, no. A freaking dire serpent.
what big fangs you have. I'm gonna ride him. He needs to be a mount. He, he should be like a mount that three of us can ride on at once. One of his abilities is double kick. Pop, pop. Terrifying. Mandalorian complimented the water. The pilgrim. If you look right above you in chat is the individual that added the water. I like the music right now. Sorry, I got quiet there. I was, uh, I was looking at water. Are the moons made of cheese? I think it's too early to reveal that, that lore. Watch out, Nick. We got an Ashira warrior here. Are there cat people on those cheese moons? The cat people on the moon are to keep the rat people from eating all the cheese. Thank you, Tinleo. And you as well, Nicodemus. Yeah, it's exciting. It's exciting seeing stuff come together. Squishy Mustard. Thank you for the follow. As opposed to Crunchy Mustard. This son, this son of a gun and Picadile is getting me. Oh no, he's running. I've been meaning to catch the stream and follow for a long time. Is that a beer? Thank you so much. Where'd you find out about the stream from? Uh, YouTube or? Raw gator meat. We'll have to leave that on there.
So the closest we've come to dying so far, Nick, was maybe the Ashira? Really? Am I playing with him right now? Nobody's in chat. Okay. Fair enough. I was trying to think of people who had brothers. I only, I only knew one for sure. Well, actually, no. I, that makes three, then. Four. Oh, this is sketchy. Alright, I'm gonna... We should flag certain light sources as not working under the water. My torch, for example. That's not it. I, I was like, but he was running in like an erratic way, so I thought that was it for sure. And then I looked up and saw that you'd killed it. Oh man, coffee would be good, but if I drink coffee at 9 p.m. I'm probably not going to bed on time. Who's this down here? Ah, uh, fisherman. Excuse me. Yeah, I want to see something nifty. 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 Isan said, not sure if I told you, confirmed 100%. Uh, ready to go for Appalachian Trail. 222 for Veteran Suicide Awareness and Travis Mills Foundation. No, you didn't you didn't tell us. Nick Cast Portal Shade of Dunes. Oh nice. Did you where did you end up? The only plane ticket remains? Badass. No, it didn't take me. Um, how long have you been preparing for it? For a while, huh? Last two years? Crazy. It's funny, Jasmine and I really like going hiking, but I think if we were to go hiking in the U.S., it'd be a bit of a different experience for her. In... In Germany, there's not a lot of critters and stuff like that that you have to worry about. Did you see, did you see the zooming? Nick? On a percent focus and had the best sleep in a long time, last five days, knowing it's really happening. I bet, man. That's going to be exciting. How long, so how long is it going to, um, be? Or how long are you going to be out? Um, Nick, the zooming I mean is when you cast it, you can see yourself warp to it. You don't disappear and then it's like a warp. So it doesn't, it doesn't like remove you from the world and then put you back in over there. It just warps you over there, which is in Unreal. That's how I wound up making some Superman abilities for DCUO. 
is I uh, do a similar warp, but I had a particle that stuck on them with like a one second decay. And so you would just see color blur to the next location. That's my story. Oh no, I'm appearing to the undead. You have 365 days reserve, hoping for six months, trying for four. That is sick. That's so badass, dude. That is amazing. Ooh, man, I apologize for yawning on you guys. It's daytime where you're at. You don't want to see it. And we should definitely not be over here, but I haven't been down this way in a while, Nick says. Well, that's the fun of these sorts of games. You can go wherever the hell you want. Uh, just watch when we get up to the smuggler camp. I aggroed them last time. I was wandering around, they killed me. I've been on the Appalachian Trail with my grandparents when I was a kid. But if I had to guess, we like touched it and then untouched it. I did not appreciate my when my grandparents took me to North Carolina, they had rented like this cabin and stuff. Totally did not appreciate it as a kid. Thinking back on it, I'm like, damn, cabin, fishing, hanging out in the woods, fire. I guess I appreciate it, but not enough. The trail grew this year. <laughs> That's hilarious. You gotta you gotta put in an extra seven steps, but the trail's still the same size. I swear there are mobs over here. Yeah, they're there. Were rat warrior. Seth Messer. Thank you for the follow. Yeah, so John John has the water flowing down flowing down this way if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, hidden tree. Only problem is it's it's death, instant death for us. We're doing that thing where you go way outside of your uh, level range to explore. <laughs> Greetings, biped. Troubled times have fallen on these lands. We stand ready to serve Vava the Toothless. I'll have to get the pronunciation from from uh from Ham. Nice. Um, Nicodemus, have you clicked? So where you see the color, click on it. 
and see if it expands. Because it, it should be status. And then what we are doing, instead of trying to put all of that up there, that's just kind of a big collection of a, a deconstruction of things. Um, status should be in. Yeah, there you go. And then if you look over to the left in the left hand list, there's the uh, phases. Nick, I was actually thinking about just tossing in those islands, like basically just making a, a another zone or two um, with essentially just water plane and then a little placeholder island. And uh, then we'd have it so that when zoning on the boat is in, because I don't think that's in, is it? Uh, then it's ready to go. can do that this week. Do a little low invest version of it. Cool. Don't let me forget. Uh, my list is actually full. I was about to write it on my list, but... Uh. Cool, cool. Oh, man, there's a big beetle. Okay, giants. I was wondering if it was weird. <laughs> is it rare? All this stuff's red. Um, yeah, well, we'll go back down to where stuff's killable. So yeah, Nicodemus, I've got the last note on my little list over here is update roadmap. But what's basically happened is Ali reorganized um, the milestones. And as he is reorganizing the milestones, he was also basically blasting like through all of his predictions in terms of time. So, um, so we'll have to basically get that re reworked and updated so that it reflects reality a little bit better. But the good news is we're ahead of schedule. <laughs> so, the individual that put the water in has a lot of experience with uh with games involving water so made for it made for an easy win now with this fog in this water i'm scared shitless though i know there's nothing in here that'll get me but this kind of water scares me in real life So I will, I will, I will use the name John instead of the pilgrim one, but John is the pilgrim one here in chat. So John put the water in. You just sent a screenshot to your kid about the water and how good it looked already? Nice. We'll keep our eye on this boat. Uh, we'll be fixing the hitbox scale issue soon, Nick said. He's got a ticket in. Are there any environmental effects on characters like sunburn or frostbite, etc.? Uh, no. Now, that's not to say that you should put it past me to suggest that sort of thing in the coming phase when we start to immunimify systems a lot more. But we'll see how far we can uh, push things before Nick or Ollie or others are like, dude, Quit trying to make this a survival game. She says keep the character the same. I know. I know it's it's gonna be hard. It's it's been hard losing, you know, losing the critters. But I'm I'm telling you, we'll make some merch with the uh with the characters on it. Make some plushies.
Yeah, I'm not. I'm not really thinking survival game either. But I, I do believe that there's a there's there's something that comes along with um, putting a little more uh, consequence, building consequence into even this, you know, the simplest systems, and having there be uh, you know decisions that need to be made. Things like back in the day with EQ, like carry weight and yeah, putting the, putting the RP in the RPG exactly, right? Like th there's something. Oh man, come on, there we go. Something to be said about um, how those decisions extrapolate out across the other systems, as well as like the social aspects of the game and the way you typically session and everything. So. So we'll be playing that, playing with that in phase two a lot more. So that's the kind of stuff you'll see us messing with a lot more in uh, in Q1 of 2022. But yeah, enjoy these capsules while they're still here, everybody. They will be, uh, they will not be around for much, much longer. Can't sit? Oh, I can't sit either. There's, uh, there's some new code to pull, but I think it's only, only fixing the, um, that one character create issue. Digital Century said, been lurking, but did I hear you guys are ahead of schedule? That's fantastic. If so, yep, we're ahead of schedule. Um, don't worry, we'll <laughs> we'll burn that time up some on some other thing. Uh, but yeah, it's it's been nice. Invariably, we'll find some gotchas. There'll be some gremlins. We're going to spend a fair amount of time on animations, though. That'll be one of those things where we really want to get the right feel. Oh, this guy, he ran off. Where's he at? Oh my god, it's so... There he is. Oh, this is scary. Planet 65. Welcome. Still waiting on your monsters and memories and merch? So... I've got a call. I'm trying to basically get uh, our CPA <laughs> and uh, tax attorney on a call together. And then there's some questions to be discussed about things like merch. Because basically, there, there are two, there are three concerns with merch. The first one is just coming up with and making sure there's good merch and it's good quality. The second one is not wanting to take folks money until we feel like, you know, we're giving you something more than like a, than a, you know, a hope in a, in a, in a promise. Um, and then the third one is if we are selling merch, then that I'm assuming counts as revenue. <laughs> and I don't know what that's going to do to the tax front. Um, so faster, yeah. I'm, I'm kind of falling into that camp more and more, but still. Now, now the question is, um, Uncle Sam, getting the getting the best information on that front, and maybe it'll be fun. Hutchy, it's good to see you. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with us tonight, and see you soon. Yeah, we're a very, very friendly community, and we're glad to have you. Oh wait, this is a different character. Let me log back out. 
I'm pretty sure. Unless I died. <clears throat> yep, once you get your first dollar, you gotta do taxes. I'm not really feeling that at the moment. What tune was I on? Solo test? Nicodemus, a whole, a whole new company is just a whole new headache, I think. I don't think it'll help us avoid the problem, so we'll do it right. We'll just, we'll look at the timing. So for next Christmas, you guys will definitely have merch in your hands. Your wife has an interview in Kaiserslautern. I just said it in such a... If Jasmine heard me say it, she'd uh, laugh at my pronunciation. Kaiserslautern. Schlauten? Kaiserslautern. I'll have to ask Jasmine for it. But hey, congrats. That sounds fun. Where are you guys at right now? Specifically... Give us a house number. Transylvania. That's interesting. It's it's just like Germany. No, but for real, it should be cool. It's funny, it's like when you're used to driving and traveling in the US and stuff, you get to Germany. You can basically, you can drive and see everything. And it, to me, everything's like within a day drive. Um, I'm just used to driving so much. And then Jasmine though, anything's like three hours away. She's like, oh my God, that's the whole day. I don't want to drive for four hours. Like, Dude, seems like a number of things are broken all of a sudden. I'm not in a party. Hmm. All right, I'm going to bounce out and stay logged out for a minute and see if that resets me. One thousand, two one thousand. Let me see what's going on. GitHub says I should pull Origin. I have done that. Cannot wait to start playing with uh, animations and stuff with this guy. Can't wait to see what we can do with the sleeves and... I think this little bit needs to have some animation as well. But maybe not. Sleeves, push O. Alright, 
let's get back into the appropriate scene and see what what's going on here. My dog's over there making weird noises. The sneaky Russian, speaking of, my dog's actually from Moscow. He came with a stuffed mouse that we call Comrade Mouse. I'm curious, I've been working on my own project for a while, but haven't had much luck with good networking solution. What are y'all planning to use for your server solution? It's funny, Ali was just going through some of his plans earlier today um and so we started out just uni using all of uh the unity server with ml api um and since then ali i think basically rewrote a bunch from scratch um and we've switched over to something and I'm not the tech person, maybe one of the other programmers in here, um, or somebody can help you. Um, or when Ollie's in here, one of these evenings, he can give you even more. Or if you get on our discord, actually, Ollie's pretty good about, uh, responding on discord, but, uh, I think we're using like uh light net lib and Ollie has we're using the Unity server for things like um, LOS, um, all of the pathfinding, like the nav meshes and stuff in Unity, um, and uh, volumes. Um, yeah, so timing, like when should I tick? Pathfinding, LOS detection, and um, and for the time being, one of the reasons why we use it is because it's so easy to just click play and go. Um, but yeah. So Gotcha, I've seen a lot of issues with the current public solutions that wouldn't scale in production. Very frustrating to figure that out since it's not a, a publicly well-taught thing. Navnesh has been my biggest hurdle without wrapping uh, Unity or Unreal, which isn't scalable, which is terrible. Yeah. So... Um, I don't have a join button, Nick. I can invite, and I can sit. I can sit. Um, yeah, so it's great timing for the topic, Sneaky Russian. Um, and so... Ali, I'm actually looking at big thread. Uh, Ali's got a ton of thoughts in here. Um, I know he's gone in and so re rewritten a, a ton and cleaned things up and made it more scalable. Um, but he's got a list of stuff that he wants to do and it sounds like he may be pitching for, uh, for taking some time to basically um, go back in and refine things this February. So... Spoiler to the team if you haven't heard that, if Ollie hasn't mentioned it. Um, so, if you hit us up on Discord, Sneaky Russian, here. If you either hit us up in that Discord, or maybe in the game design and development or whatever channel in um, the stream Discord. Tag Ollie in it. He's pretty good when he gets a chance of, like, he loves sharing information. Um, and he can pass on, you know, where he dug up his information and what he's been doing, so. Um. I've invited you again. I've got a disband on here. Weird. Okay. Is this showing two of me in here now? Excuse me. Are you actually Russian? Haha. <laughs> 
Fair enough. That works. I feel like I can say that as well, since my, my puppy is Russian. My, my dog's really aggressive with other dogs, unfortunately. Um, and like, he'll try to, he'll try to bite him. Like he'll zoom in real quick and try to get one bite in. If the dog shows weakness, he will continue to attack, but not like in a growly, snarly or whatever way. It's like his way of, he just, he just zooms in like bites. If the dog stands its ground, he will immediately befriend it and they will be best friends. He may try again. He may try like another one or two. But for the most part, if they do not show weakness, then they can be his friend. And I think it's the I think it's because he's Russian. That is my stereotype of Russians now. Hey you lovely Pifflet. How are you? Oh, I'm almost level three. Are you guys using tools to generate the world? Everything been handcrafted. Everything is handcrafted. Matter of fact, like this, uh, so this newer area here is, uh, Pattis is working on, um, new, new modeling, um, and new texture. And then all the rest of this is basically it was all literally me just pulling verts in, uh, in Blender. Looks like Oasis from EQ. I would say heavily inspired by. <laughs> Wonderful deserts in EverQuest. If you're an EverQuest fan and you're not aware, um, here, are, uh, it's a collection of, we've got like 60 hours of VODs of different people from the team that have been on the stream for interviews. So check it out. There's tons and tons and tons. You can find them on YouTube as well. And all the ones that we did last year, you can find on whatever, whatever you listen to podcasts on, you can find it there. In love with the environments and landscapes. Thank you, Knuckle Dragger. See, everybody loves them, Pattis. You have a high threshold to hit. I have established the perfect landscapes. I got some bone chips. Feeling the pressure. <laughs> Not gonna make it easy for you, buddy. Experience day? Then you should speak with Sir Alan or Sir Leon. These brave paladins not only save my life, but are great and holy men. Your new adventure, we could always use some help cleaning up the weaker undead that have been roaming outside the front gates as of late. Even if they lack aggression, we cannot take the chances. They are used in more in a more sinister plot. Bring me back their bone chips so that we may destroy their haunted remains. Did you give me just the right amount? Well, that didn't used to work that way. Didn't... I think... Did John say that he had just done something with the slider? Oh, 
Oh god. Ah. I missed the art style of EQ. It made the game that game. Graphics are still something that doesn't bother me from EQ TLP. I actually just like new graphics. Uh, they did an EQ and ruined some of the old zones. Yeah, a, a lot of folks feel that way. I think the art style in, in general is, is fairly ageless, timeless. You know what I mean? So, that's why we're heading for uh, that old, old timey look. Cotswold, there have been a couple of songs in here that uh, I was I kind of feeling it. Let me back in game, guys. Come on. Dude, it's chaos tonight. Is it because you're Chrono Cross fans, or is it because the music? Yeah, squishy mustard. I am. I'm. Uh, I'm a huge not fan of it myself. All right, that makes sense. That'll work as well. I'll just give them one at a time. See how much, oh, I'm about to give him bread. He did not ask for bread. Nick, I think your quest is more broken than my quest. You know how long it takes to get a damn bundle of cloth scraps and turn it into the Shifty Gnome? I mean, how many scraps have we seen? Hi, guy. Oh, did you guys see the revamped? So, we've got the original model, then we've got the cloth that we were doing on top of the original model, and then we've got the revamped as of this weekend model. And now I think it's been revamped even more this evening. Zukin has been quietly plugging away at it in the background. Bot Zerker said, what have I stumbled on? Are you part of the website, Monsters and Memories? If it's the website I'm hoping you're referring to, yes. Is it a website that has images that look like this? Thank you, Hidden Tree. Same images? Okay, good. I was like, I hope there's not like some weird website out there. I was like, is that us? No. People are accidentally finding it. Yes, this is this is us. This is the game. We are they. Those of you that weren't in here earlier, 
Yeah, right? It's like, uh, well, I mean, I do have like a 200 page trademark search thing that our lawyer fired off. So if you missed our, my earlier ramble about this, one of the things that we'll be doing in the near future is looking at the proportions as we get the more final art in place and working to, uh, so this is what it looks like at the moment. If you, if you look like you stand the player character next to a barrel and it's giant. So we'll be going through and figuring out the right scale for everything and making sure everything feels nice and, and cozy and charming and complete rework of the city is is going to be underway soon. We're currently just sort of thinking through things. Um, no, it's going to be fun, man. Where did Nick go? Oh, he summoned me. How dare you. Impolite. I was just about to get my groove on. Are you at the stage where viewers can participate? Not yet. But it is a... Uh, it is on our list of goals for the uh, coming year. One of, the, one of the things that we want to do is um, essentially get it set up so that you can go through like a fairly normal flow with regards to setting up your account and um, downloading the client in a way that's safe for us and for you. Um, nice. Um, And uh, as soon as all that's in place, then then we'll be looking at getting some folks in, play testing with you, maybe stressing out some systems. Though honestly, I think headless clients or something would be better for that. But still, but yeah, we're not too horribly far off. I'll stick around. 2022 will be very, very interesting. All right. I'm going back out. Oh my goodness. 10 o'clock. Jeez. So, not this morning, uh, yeah, yesterday morning, dog woke us up because he threw up. I was like, alright, well, that's no good. And then he was wide awake, so I took him out because earlier in the night, he, he, he threw up twice and then had the squirts. And that was pretty unusual, so we were worried about him. And so when he threw up yesterday morning, it four in the morning. I was like, all right, let me take him out. I know it wasn't good. He's, his stomach has been super resilient since we got him. So our previous dog had, um, had stomach issues a lot. Um, like his whole life, but this guy's been pretty normal. And then, so that hit him. We're like, oh, that's no good. Then this morning he wakes up and, uh, I don't know what the hell happened, to be honest. I don't think he was sick or anything. I, but he woke up at like 2.30 in the morning, was like wide awake. And again, still worried about the stomach issues. I was just like, all right, uh, let me get up and take him out. And for whatever, well, not for whatever reason, it's pretty. Let me respond to Nick in a second. Um, But for whatever reason, he was just up. So I took him out and, and I wasn't as tired today as I was yesterday, but damn, man, I'm waking up in the middle of the night. I'm too old for that. 
Nick said there's water in the rogue slash tavern area in the tunnel, but it doesn't count as swimming. Yeah, so what's going on there, Nick, is um, when John put in the new water, uh, it looks like the new water just covers uh, the whole plane. It seems like, and John, you can correct me if I'm wrong if you're listening, but it seems like it extends throughout the entire scene. And then um, I think that's just something that was maybe overlooked. Um, whoops. So if I... If I find where you're at. Okay, so we're here. We go here. Yeah, so this is just the plane, that water plane extending, but there's no actual water volume. Right, so um, if I turn on the gizmos, because it's not supposed to be water, there's no water volume. And those are the only places that are actually swimmable. Hate to ruin it for you. That's fake. Back there, it's fake. But we're going to make it real. We've decided we'll probably make it real this week so that you can get on a boat. And once zoning is uh, zoning on a boat, we have zoning. We just don't have zoning on a boat. Where is the boat? So, John, how does it work? Do you do you have to spec like specifically exclude an area, or I was trying to figure out how this thing worked. Yeah, sneaky Russian. The, the, like there were there were a number of things that seemed like it would be easier to fix than it ultimately was in EQ. I'm trying to remember if any of the guests actually spoke to why. Phil, what's going on, buddy? Thank you for the sub. All right, so we'll go back in the game. Keep an eye out for the boat. Das Boot. Um. No, I don't think that was it. Sneaky Russian. I think there's just some stuff that was like. It was infested with gremlins. They had gremlin infestation on some of the things and it's just like there was no... There's no fixing it without significant rewriting or some craziness. So when we redo the uh, city, there's going to be all sorts of fun, sneaky verticality and stuff like that. You're moving to Iowa. Right on, man. Good luck with the move. Remember the verticality unintentional? I miss sneaking. Uh, rooftops. Would you try to get on walls and exploit or something? When I was a when I was first a guide and then a GM, we'd catch you little sneaky exploiters trying to exploit. Give you a slap on the wrist or buff the NPC to kill you or cast something on you to kill you. Phil, are you still in Bama until you move?
Boah. I'm waiting on the boat. We gotta speed this guy up a little bit. Can I see the boat's move speed? Nah, man. We closed the business back in 2020. Uh, decided to visit the place that's never been. Oh, right on. Got a warning for exploding high key back in 2000. The odds of you actually having that warning written on your accounts is pretty low, to be honest. Exploited twice in EQ, once a lava storm where mobs could run into the lip of one of those lava pits. Never clip up. Um, the other, the hermit in uh, the Kranas, not far from the Triant, same deal. We run into the wall while you killed him. I mean, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. That said, we catch you cheating in our game. It's curtains. Is my voice clipping? I just looked over in my uh, my monitor color. It's like the, uh, you know what I mean? The little readout thingy. It's read a lot. Sorry if the audio is weird. Audio is good? Okay. Good. Awesome. Good. Been in Knoxville for a year, and now we're heading to Iowa, kind of exploring until we open a small business again or find something we like to do. Right on, man. Yeah, it sucks. It sucks about the shop, dude. But it's an um, incredible experience that you've got from it, so I have no doubt you'll be even more successful next time around. Dude, seeing you without the beard, I did not recognize you at first. I was like, he's got the same name, but I don't recognize this guy. I was thinking about that the other day when I saw you on LinkedIn. I was like, man, it was so funny when I when I first saw you without the beard. Two different dudes. You're, you're, you're quite the handsome professional looking lad when you're not looking like all three of ZZ Top piled onto one, one chin. Yeah, man. I had a crazy beard before I moved to Germany. It was so big. And this is back before it was all gray. So it was... Oh, shit. Well, that was unexpected. So it was mostly dark with two white streaks. I have to find a... I have to find a picture. I loved it when it was like that. But the, the beard that I had in, uh, in Austin before I left was way too big for me. And it was like just this round hipster thing that I had going on. I didn't even have the cool ZZ Top beard. Um. We are using Unity. As Queen Latifah says, you and I T-Y. See if I got any pictures of the old beard. Your old beard Rooney. Not that you want to see it, but still. And now that I'm thinking about it. Nope. 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 I don't. You lost your dwarf card when you shaved the beard. <laughs> oh, man. That was a very legit beard. I am not, I am in no way making fun. Oh, sorry. Sunrise, not moonrise. My bad. My bad, Nick. I blew the moment. 
We've got to get some little video clips with uh, some. I, w I want to. I want to get a couple more little video clips to throw on YouTube. The one that we have up there has got people's interests. Um, yeah, man, that beer was legit. Still have that little John beard from Robin Hood with the fire tuck hair. I'm feeling you on that. I swear it's just the lighting. I swear I have more hairs than this. I swear it's just the lighting. Did I ever play LP mod? No. I did not. <laughs> Nick just got killed by the ship again. <laughs> oh, I can't remember previous mods that I poked at, but uh, most recently, and I need to get back in there. Um, should I should make a habit of spending a little bit of time in there each day. Um, I started playing uh, Genesis mod. Um, Nick, your corpse is way, way down there now. <laughs> Feared the ship. I may hop off in a little bit and swim across and run into the dungeon. Nick, we're level two duoing. We should hit the dungeon. I'm about to hit three. Do I have any abilities I should get? All right. If you're over there. Whoa. Swimming. Terrifying. Oh man, we need bubbles going up or I'm going to get lost. Well, I, I guess I can't get lost. I can only go up. Running underwater is pretty tech. So... John, you wrote out a nice explanation to the question I asked earlier and I got sidetracked and I missed it. And so I'm going to scroll up right now because I can still see it. Sorry about that. I'm not ignoring you. you. I'm just, I've got like a butterfly brain. John said, to answer your question, areas can be defined that change the height of the water. If you look at the hierarchy under crest ocean splines, you can see where I've defined a number of sets of splines that change the height in different places such as lake, river, and sewers. Interesting. Oh, actually, I'll look at that right now. Okay, so zone. Shade of Dunes. Crest Ocean. Oh, there's all the little thingies you can tweak in here. Click X in the search bar, what, just to make it uh, go away? Okay. Drag the spline up and see what happens. It's funny, I was just thinking I wanted to do that. Does it need to... Does it need to be when I'm not running? Yeah, that's... that's what was, um, now that I know this is here, I'll, I'll poke around at this.
Um, I'll take a look at it um, when I'm not running next. Now that I know where it's at. And I'm very curious about um, this as well. Like, going around with some of these. I think. I don't know. Maybe I'll just break it. I just want to poke things and like wiggle the whammy bar or whatever. Hey, Jasmine. That would be awesome. Belfaster said, so basically it lets you isolate the water heights, so it's not sea level and everything is tied to it. Like a lake, sewer, bucket of water, etc. can have an independent height. Uh, but I, I think John was answering my last question with his statement. Want to summon? Oh no, I'm good. Don't know what he's doing up there, but he's up there. There's Nick. I had a speed of wild on, so it went very fast. John responded to Belfaster and said, Yes, those uh, splines allow you to adjust the height away from the base height of the ocean so that you can have those independent heights like you mentioned. Well, that doesn't look, that doesn't look good. Every once in a while this happens. And when this happens, yep, that happens. When Unity crashes, we should, we should create like a little bot. When Unity crashes, it just automatically puts an F in chat. Nick, we should get cooler light sources. Then we won't need torches. We will be our own torch. It's a shame you can't see... M oh, wait. Can you see my light source? That's a good point. No, you can't because I've uh, not saved it. Why Unity over Unreal? Um, at the time when we were looking at it, uh, Unity would just allow us to get going faster. That was one of the big things. I think Ali can give even more rationalization. Uh, allowed us to go faster. Nick really liked Unreal, so we <laughs> we were just we're like, we're going to screw with Nick. Um, well, I think there was at least a third reason. There's probably a third reason. <laughs> He's like, guys, I don't know if you've heard of this other thing called Unreal. We're like, oh, no, no, no. You know, Unity's fine. But it looks so good. No, it's we're good. <laughs> we love crashing. Ugh. All right, I made it in. That was easy enough. It, that's not my corpse, is it? Okay, that's Nick's corpse. Oh, I forgot I left these guys in here on my side. 
They're scaled up too. Unreal crashes a lot too. Yeah. I used um the the yep, you can restart Nick. I'll just pop back in. Uh last last project I was on that used Unreal was DC Universe. So I honestly I haven't had a lot of experience since then. I enjoyed it at the time, but I had never, like, I had never messed with anything, like, at the time, uh, blueprints were called Kismet and Matinee. And man, the amount of prototyping I got done in just the first week, even, was able to go in and hack together tons of, like, you know, mock-ups of the systems. Um, it was so nice. Um, so we started with that. We made a couple demos. It was like... You could fight Metallo in a warehouse and shit like that and run around a little city I built and did some like little visual demos where I actually, I think I animated some stuff using um, matinee, like just fake the animations and stuff. Little scene for like a little smoke and mirrors tech demo kind of or visual demo. And then within a few months... We, we finalized using um, Unity. It was like 2.5. I mean, sorry, Unreal 2.5. And we started gutting it. And for the like next year and a half, designers sat around and wrote documents because we couldn't implement shit. Oh, man. It was... it was That was when I coined the phrase documentia. It's when you go crazy from sitting around writing a bunch of documents that you throw away and then rewrite... And then throw away and rewrite. Documentia. Yellow and yellow. Maybe a challenge. Mane is kind of there, although Quincer is better. Blueprints are um, so much more powerful than Kismet was. Yeah, I bet. It makes sense. I poked around. I poked around with uh, blueprints a little bit when I was messing around with like little um, VR scenes that I was making. Um, when I first got, uh, well, actually, I think I was using the vibe that I got for work. I've got a vibe sitting over here. I haven't hooked it up since we moved. Oh, do, do not, do not want to mess with that roamer. I'm gonna get this guy single in a second. I haven't, I haven't checked, Nick. I'm assuming whatever bug was causing multi-spawns is addressed. I don't see it. Go away, Romer. Yeah, so I I put these guys in here and scaled them. Um, I think the scale is like one point four, uh, just so that again we can start to get a feel for for for, for proportions. Speaking is hard. Oh no, don't do that, Nick. Okay, good pull though. Good timing. Can I already tell the lighting in Nimino is gonna be dope? Thank you, Hidden Tree. Coming from you, I take that as a big compliment. I just want to hook this up, didn't I? Yeah, I even I have a command for I have a command for Eco. 
if any of you are not aware of the project, shame on you, but click on that link, Evercraft Online, take a look. Super cool. We play tested. It feels like a week ago, but I know it's been a few weeks. Um, play test for like four hours, three hours. So much fun. It was our second play test. The first play test was like three or four hours as well. It just flew by. Super solid fun. Very, very pretty. Very cool. I'm sure we'll be in there again. So keep an eye out. Oh man, I love the way this guy looks. And he's, you know, he's a first iteration dude, but look at that back there. Can you imagine it? Yeah, oh, uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit. Thank God for that pathing just then, right? Okay. I uh, don't know if I said this before, but stick figures option like the old EQ April Fool's prank would be fun too. Where the hell is that guy going? Okay, Nick zoned. I really want to see if I can get this guy. Yep, no worries. I'm just going to see if we can. Okay, I'm officially overpowered. Oh shit, what am I doing? That's not gonna work. Whoa, that was that was uh close. I don't I don't remember the stick figure thing. A Visigoth, I've I'd have to look it up. If you got a screenshot, I'd take a look. Sneaky Russian does. All right, that'll work. It's the config option. Luckily, you can still do. Oh, interesting. When I saw the um, old, when I saw the old player character models with um, the EQ shadows on them, and they were self shadowing and stuff. Last year. Um, Prior to us talking about starting the project, I was immediately like, man, that would be a cool style for a game. So that was a big inspiration for us. So we will heal up and then we will take another crack at uh, duoing in here. I like the amount of time that we're spending in level right now. But I, I know we weren't like steady grinding earlier, so that's a factor as well, but. Hey, Bronies. Come here, buddy. Come here. Run. There he is. There's the Russian dog. Russian dog. You caused my green screen to freak out, buddy. Oh, well. You guys will just have to live with the janky green screen.
He is radioactive. Chernobyl dog. Don't die, Nick. Oh, wow. Okay. I see what's going on. 20% chance puppy barfs on you on stream? No, I think it's like a 1% chance. He's good. He did not drink too much vodka. Oh man, that frame rate. That's pretty funny. Hey, Dreg. Are you... He's poking the keyboard with his nose. He's a genius. Got a dog ass in the face. Oh no, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Man, I love the way that looks. Oh my goodness, I like the way that looks. Don't die, Nick. Nell, for sure. It's super fun. This is what we were shooting for. Like, this is, this is, that was what was in the mind's eye. Like to, uh, uh, like to, even with this sort of placeholder, you know, like stiffy guy here, it'd be nice to maybe find a way of getting a video without the HUD and uh, character in a way. And we can post it. We can post another little 16 second clipper ruski on the uh, on the old YouTube. Yeah, guys, this is this is what we're trying to make uh make into a thing for y'all. Get the little bit of animation on the cloth. Yeah, we'll see. Fargo bitwise, that is the attitude to have. Oh, I'm just like running around. I'm not even paying attention to the pool. Sorry, Nick. The shame you can't see my light source. I should just check this in as the torch. Anybody disagree with that idea? Until we get light sources um, actually in, then we can play around with uh, making different ones. Range on it slightly? Okay. I think it's the same range as the other one. It's just more visible. When we when we get in this room, we can take a look at it. It's darker in there. It's easier to see. Alright, you removed the trap, so...
Don't do that now. I'd feel bad. I don't know if Hidden Tree would, but I will. Oh shit, we got ads. That's how we get ads. Oh no. That's how you get ads, Lana. Uh, reading guard? Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Sorry. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, yep. <laughs> oh, pathing. Oh. That's... That that pathing was intentional. We're that's intentional retro pathing. That's to make you feel nostalgic. Oh shit. His friend's there. Dude, I can't even hit this guy. A B. <laughs> Is my auto attack on? Of course my auto attack's on, John. How dare you even question whether or not my auto attack was on. Well, it was on. Something in the code broke. Turned my auto attack off for no reason. I'm gonna write a bug. Oh, Zookin, don't you get in on it. I've never- I've never been known to not auto-attack as a melee character. Okay. We're, we're coming down to the wire. No cheating. Okay. Oh shit. We got... Uh, he's even con. Okay, no worries. This guy's got no DPS. I'm eating bread rolls. I'm safe. Perfect. Um, I'm sure we're fine. I thought there was one roamer that came through here, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, it might be better to come in here. Oh jeez, <laughs> this room's safe now. No, it's not. <laughs> this room's safe now, and it repops right as he right, right as he says it. This is a fast ass repop time. Safer? Well, yeah, I think if there actually is a roamer in the hallway, I just don't remember. Oh no. Well then. <laughs> hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, there, there's the rumor. Two. Oh, geez. Might be three. We're so lucky that uh, I haven't put any abilities on this guy yet. Okay. Good timing. Pathing bought us an extra second or two. Bone chips. Um, I got plenty of water and food. That's good. That in there where it belongs. Ooh, I just looked down. Ten forty one. Time flies when you're in a dungeon. All right, I'm almost full. You're still Pretty low on mana, though. How's the pacing? Um, yeah, well, with it being two of us, it feels good. I mean, it's all we can eat at the moment. I'm trying to see is that two on top of each other? Or is that the bug? Or is that just a, does it just look weird on, in my eyeballs? It's one, yeah. Um, but. Whoa, whoa, oh, jeez. Oh, no. Run. Okay, we probably got it. I'm just being a coward. Oh, no, you have no mana. I'd say zone it. We'll maybe get this. Yeah, we'll get this one. Uh, yeah. Alright, cool. Alright. Oh, uh, well, yeah. Yep. That sounds like good advice. Running is good advice. Is 
So that's fun. <laughs> God, this looks so fun, even as capsules. Thanks, Nell. Yeah, that's the that's the idea, right? If we can make it fun with capsules, then we're probably off to a decent start. <clears throat> yeah, I mean the the for the two of us, that's really enjoyable. Imagine mobs could zone too. Mm, that would not be good. That'd take all the fun away from zone lines. Now, thoughts on party size? Six? Yeah. The... The fun thing, though, in, um, you know, that it's just, I don't, it's not exclusive to EQ, but it feels like EQ felt this way more than some other things. Like, it's nice that it's, uh, you know, it's, it's the same problem that you can try to answer with all sorts of different answers. And so right now it's two of us with, uh, two of us fighter and druid um but looking at the various class combos that you could duo with or trio or um that type of thing um it's really cool or come back in here with my necro and, and see how far i can go um yeah so belfaster asked speaking of what are your thoughts on pantheon going zoneless nick responded good choice for what they're doing Yep. The freedom of movement and, um, you know, the, the, the focus with the way the exploration, um, or the, the sense may no sense, um, the focus on exploration, I think it works, it, it works for what they're doing. It's funny, like, we, we are not, as far as I know, we are in no way um, constrained to being zone based. It's just a choice. Um, but to me, what we just had is like a perfect example of why I like zone lines. Velith, I would say that if if we wanted to do it, I'm sure Ollie would make it happen. Um, so we were streaming on DCUO and we wound up having um, you know, we. Uh, we had the ability to fly, run up walls, run upside down on ceilings, super speed, all the shit that came along with uh, DCO. Um, and we just had to acknowledge that there'd be a certain amount of cheesing that went on. We gave, a lot of NPCs had ranged abilities as well as um, melee abilities and some movement abilities as well that helped. But for the most part, we just realized it was going to be okay if people cheesed a certain amount. Playing a bard in EQ. I like the thought of uh, pulling being a thing along with crowd control, and of course, escaping to his own line. Yeah, I just, I just watched a video from... Um, let's see, I'll link it actually. Hold on one sec. We'll go back to... When I when I linked it yesterday, copy link to here. So, um, Ion had in that video, Ion Blaze, um, going through like, should you play EQ in twenty twenty two? 
I mean, I could have sworn that was the video I was watching. Where it's just talking about, you know, the uniqueness of the classes and... How that factored into some of the problem solving and stuff as well. Yeah, I thought they had, um, I thought they had some basic loot table on them, but I guess not. Definitely take a look, Nick. All right, dude. Um, yawning aside. Oh my God. freaking roamers um after these guys i want to wind up piecing out in a little bit it is almost 11 <laughs> speaking of itemization um i want to i want to follow up on um like our plan for sort of oh oh yeah let's run them i'll follow up with you nick on that on that topic drake said always catch tail in looks like things are progressing well well thank you yeah sorry i know it's still early for all of you it's a bummer I think you should try the earthquake thing we got going on P99. See if you enjoy the gameplay. You know, I've been enjoying it. And Nick's a big fan as well. Nick speaks highly of the concept. Oh. My set just broke as well. Nick. One of my favorite memories from way back was pulling with my board and having a lot of not safe for work social messages for pulls and getting a message that the tank is a 12 year old girl who's asking her parents uncomfortable questions and would I stop? <laughs> uh oh. The beginning of the internet age. Early lessons in social gaming. I'm 12, and what is this? But literally, <laughs> no, you're not. Um, and giving your subscriber badge, you know what this is. Oh, I don't know memes. I'm not very good. I'm not very good with memes. I think I'm, I'm too old and autistic for... I, I, I usually just read everything as literal. Even if I know the fucking saying... Oops. The freaking saying. Somebody will say something I'll be like, really? And they're like, no. And I'm like, oh wait, I knew that. Oh my god. I can't sit down, Nick, even after zoning. And on that note, I think we're going to wrap up for tonight. Um, Drake said, I want to make an alt on P99, but still love playing my main too much and still have too much to do, even though I've been 60 for a few months. Yeah. But if you do make one, let me know. I'm sure within days you'll be the same level as mine. Um, Nell said, I have made Epic on P99. Need to log back in and play again. Yep. I haven't I haven't played very much lately, and so it felt nice to get in and play over the weekend, but yeah. That's a horrible name, don't do that. Um okay, I'm going to bed guys. If you're new here, 
and you like EverQuest and you haven't seen the VODs, please check them out. You can also check them out on YouTube. If you watch the videos on YouTube, please hit subscribe. Thank you. Um, thank you everybody for hanging out for the stream. Sign up for our mailing list. We're, we're getting closer and closer to 800. We want to get that thing to a thousand before the end of the year. That's a goal. Share the mailing list with your friends, your guilds, your discords, your parents. Um, so that's that link right there. Please join the mailing list. It still references Project N, but we'll update that one day. Um, this is our website. If you do not know who we are, please join our Discord. Um, Discord is MNM Discord. Command is fired. And stream Discord is this. And don't forget Eco. All right, that is all of them. I will see you all on Thursday and we'll see if we've got something new. If not, well then we'll figure it out. All right, have a wonderful day. Be safe until Thursday. <laughs>